hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is jane and this is styles by jane if you're new here welcome if you're a repeat subscriber thanks for sticking with me on this channel we talk about fashion lifestyle and beauty so if you are a regular mom a regular girl a regular lady who has a lot of stuff in your wardrobe and you don't know how to put it together or you don't know how to look or you have so many stuff in your wardrobe and you're always wondering how do i look put together if you have any problem with styling, this is a channel for you. My goal with this channel is to teach people how to restyle pieces in your wardrobe, how to make more use, get more value of from pieces in your wardrobe. So, uh, and also discuss upcoming trends and how you can incorporate that into your wardrobe if it fits your style. It's also, my channel is also big boobs friendly. So if you're a size 12 and you're top heavy and you're looking for ways to style pieces and also look chic, you were in the right place so now that you get the gist if you're interested in content like this please subscribe i have a couple of content before that you could go watch to kind of give you the vibe of this channel i bring out two videos every week tuesdays and saturdays tuesdays of tuesday's videos are more like how to style tapes and saturdays and more styling so again if this is something you're interested in, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified when I bring out this video so you're, you know what, on the top of seeing it. And now that I've gotten into the gist of why you should stick with me, uh, we should talk about today's video. So today's video is about basic four blazers. Like you could have seen that from the title before you click. But I also, I just want to talk about blazers for fall how we can style them, what we can do with them. If you already have the pieces in your wardrobe, how you should how you should elevate your style with them. I, I believe every woman, every lady should have a blazer. And today I'm gonna to be talking about different styles of blazer and how to style them for the fall and for your wardrobe in general. So these ideas could also be used for fall or for spring or whatever, but it's just styling basic blazers. And so with that said, let's get into the video. So we're talking about blazers today. I have put together a couple of basic essential blazers and you don't have to have all of this. I What I've done here is I've grouped them into different color, um, same colors, different styles, blazers. These are all, for these group of blazers, these, these are black blazers, but they're all different styles of blazers. So you don't have to have all of them it's a bit excessive i know but you don't have to have all of them these are just different styles and i'm going to talk about how you can incorporate those into your wardrobe and then i went for plaid so uh i have three plaid laces here that you can also see how you're going to style if you're looking at plaids or colors and then i have some um, some solid colors here white and nude so this is just if you're looking at this i'm talking about just four groups of blazers you have the black you have the white you have the um solid color and you have the beige those are the four so now let's talk about how each of these blazers look i'm going to start with the first one this is a basic double breasted blazer if you can see um if you've seen my previous video if you've seen the beige blazer that i wore with uh with shorts this is like a black version of it it's uh zara's dupe for the bomb on blazer this is it and you can see it in the cutout how it looks uh this blazer is very basic but it's you as a lady you need a a basic double breasted blazer because of what it does with your body the lines the feet how you can wear it this blazer the detail on this blazer why i like it the gold on it makes it look really rich and expensive and what that's the goal like <laughs> um the the details on it makes it look really rich the lapel it looks well suited it sits very well on your skin you can wear this casually and you can also wear it with jeans to look more chic so it has the you can wear it on both sides and the way it is it makes it look really really good uh you need a basic double breasted blazer for fall for any time in your life you need a basic double breasted blazer this one is from zara and this one looks really good it's expensive it looks expensive and rich and heavy and if you're wearing this for fall um because it's thick it reduces your layering if that makes sense so yeah first one uh the second one 
now this blazer is more like a it's more like a coat so you can see how it looks here it looks very much like a coat so you can wear it as a blazer or as a coat and i love how it looks i love the belt details on here it cinches you in so this blazer serves a double purpose especially for the fall so if you're looking for that look where you you want to go somewhere that you'll be able to take this off but also look put together when you have it on this is it it doubles as a blazer and a coat and you can wear it either way and you see how i have styled it this is not an essential it's just a good to have and oh details it has a belt and it's also double breasted and it's like it's fitted at the waist so it cinches you in at the waist uh the next one is i could call this my favorite blazer Ugh, what is happening here Okay, the next one is, I love this. So this, this is a blazer that doubles as a blazer, a top, and it gives me boss babe vibes and a jacket as well. So this is a peplum biker jacket put together kind of blazer. You can wear this on its own and just wear it with a solid pencil skirt or jeans and you see how I have styled it. Or you can wear it as a jacket and layer it in and it has a lot of details on it to make it look really good my best detail about this is the peplum detail at the bottom that just makes this part of your waist just no just look like you did a little bit of something on there but yeah this is not again a basic but it's a good to have like i said i'm just showing you different styles of black blazers that if you get you should incorporate into your wardrobe so blazer number three Blazer number four is a blazer dress. Blazer dresses are essential. I don't care what anybody says. In the fall, it's it's like two in one. So you don't have to layer, you don't have to look heavy. A blazer dress does the work for you. And if you put on a nice pair of tights underneath it, it does the job this is a blazer dress and this has a lot of night nice, so it, it goes as a blazer you see the double pleats on your double buttons and it has this little frill detail at the bottom it sits well i love how it looks and it makes you feel good i love the sleeve i love that it's not long sleeve i love that it's three quarter sleeve because it just it gives you that boss big vibe you know that you should go for it okay next one um another blazer dress and this one is in dark blue it this one this one also very similar details to that one um i love the detail at the bottom a blazer dress is a must you should grab one if you don't have it so a blazer dress with um i love that it's sleeveless because you can layer this so you can wear a vest under and um, no sorry this is the best like a tussle neck or a sweater underneath this and wear some nice tights and look really really chic if you want if you don't want to wear um if you don't want to wear a sweater underneath it you can just have it on its own but with the sweater it makes you kind of layer if you're somewhere where it's really getting cold at the moment this is a great piece for you see how i've styled it on the side we've talked about the black blazers okay the next one i'm going to talk about are the beige blazers and so again um this is a very similar blazer to the first black one i showed you so similar style i i love these blazers like they they are they feel so good they feel rich like zara did a great job duping this for the bomb and blazer the only thing that is like i think this one's a little bit longer than the bomb and blazers but they did really good fit nice and i have tried the bomb and blazer so i know what i'm saying like these are really good dupes bomb and blazers go for about like a thousand dollars ish this one's about a hundred dollars so and if you get them on sale it's even way cheaper so yeah if you're a blazer girl if you're trying to put look like sleek and the lines on this blazer the way it sits on you and fits it's it's to die for 
you should check these out okay i'm talking too much about blazers anyway this is the beige color of that and you've seen me style this blazer several ways if you've seen my previous video you've seen me style them previous several ways so this is what this one looks like same thing right sits very well you can see the styling on the side sits very well looks chic really nice this is one style of this the, the second style of the second style we'll talk about is this one this is a single breasted blazer so different from the other one but this has a place in your wardrobe so if you're looking if you don't like the how do i explain this if you don't like the cuts of that one and you want something really simple and sleek you don't like all the buttons and all the fuss and all those things and you just want a simple clean look that is it so this is a single breasted blazer just one button and uh also oversized uh not really oversized like gets to your hip which is also a good idea for blazers if you're not doing short or crop blazers blazers it's really great if they get here because that way they create an illusion of length and makes you look taller if you wear that and wear heels you're good to go anyway single breasted blazer see how i'm styling it single breasted blazer double breasted blazer depends on how you how you want to how you intend for your look to go my preference is double blessed blazers but if you are somebody that looking for different style and options in your wardrobe single breasted blazer all right now we've talked about black and beige let's talk about plaids this is a basic gray plaid uh plaid blazer so i love plaid blazers because they go very well with jeans i love them i love the i love how they look with jeans and i also love that you could style them on your own so you would see different ways how i style plaid blazers on your own and this is a basic one i got this one from loft <laughs> yeah for once no sorry i got this one for love and i love this because this one is light um it's for days where it's not very cold but it's cold and you don't want to it's just a good top of a piece it keeps you warm it keeps you um keeps you warm and chic at the same time so yeah this is a basic plaid blazer also double breasted another plaid blazer i'm going to talk about it's this one this comes with a matching skirt i love this blazer this is a really warm fall blazer again it's double breasted nothing um nothing crazy to talk about on this one it's just uh when you start going into plaids and you, you're looking for colors to incorporate basic colors like this now if you look at this this has more than one color in it if you take a good look at it, it has more than one color in it it has a gray red so this goes with multiple pieces this is a solid red or burgundy so this too they have a place in your wardrobe depends on how you like to pay your items Ugh. pay your items so if you're someone that loves incorporating colors and not you're not just uh the gray the beige or the black you like incorporating colors in your wardrobe this is a good plaid uh for you so this one was from h&m and it doesn't necessarily have to be this color there are lots of other plaids out there that you can actually get this period that actually have good color settings in them so that's this one uh now my favorite plaid i love this one this one again is, is a solid color plaid as well just double colored but i got this plaid because i wanted to style it's oversized and i wanted to style it as a top as a as a jacket blouse if that's the thing i don't know you'll see it in the styling video anyway so this one is um it's oversized it's double breasted as you can see and it has the buttons but there's a way there's a place for this in your wardrobe and you'll see how i have styled it that's the goal with oversized blazers like this you, you can wear them on your own but that's this look this chic look these are your kind of blazers for them yeah it's not very heavy it's light i love the split details on here and you can just you can style it in a way with a belt and cinches in over a skirt, over a midi skirt or something like that. Looks really, really good. This is just, it's a basic. So if you're looking for your fall blazers after you've gotten your black, your white, your beige, 
this is just another basic blazer because of the way you can style it and this is not saying you can style any of the other blazers like that you can totally your cup of tea but if you're looking for this edgy look i would say go for a, a plaid blazer okay now it wouldn't be a Jane haul without, uh, uh, sorry, this is not a haul, but uh, review without colors. And I've picked two colors to talk about here on the blazer. So this is the first one. Again, very simple. This is a light blazer. I love this color because uh, it depicts floral fall. And this is not to say I wouldn't wear my pink blazer or my green blazer in fall but if you if you're very conservative this color is a nice color to throw into your fall wardrobe because again totally red burgundy yellow burnt orange those are fall colors and this one is a good simple fall blazers for days that it's not very cold you could just throw this in i love how this works with jeans as well so yeah uh Every girl needs a basic skirt suit in your wardrobe. A skirt suit is so in this fall. So this one I got last year, I think, or well, this year. I don't know. I can't remember. But it's a base. I love this blue um, for uh, a blazer. So this works for me in two ways. This is also not double-breasted, but it's... Um, double button so it's a double button lapel blazer it, it it feels it looks very old school and feels that way but i love how chic and boss baby looks you need a sketch suit in your wardrobe and i picked this color because again it's not very out there but it's a nice subtle color to wear for fall this doesn't have to be your color i love how this is i love the button details on this I don't, um, I love the skirt. I love that skirt is eye waisted. It doesn't have to be this, but get yourself a nice skirt suit. You're going to need it one day. You're going to wear it. And you don't have to wear it the same way together. Now you also see how I style this. I'm pairing, I'm pairing the skirt with different things and pairing the top with different things. And that's the advantages. That's one of the advantages of a skirt suit or a pantsuit. It's two piece you get and you, you literally get four styles or eight styles out of that so let's get to it and finally you need a white blazer not just because white makes you look rich because why would you not have a white blazer i love this one this one is this one I, I, there's a story behind this blazer and i don't want to go into that but you need a white blazer and this is my white blazer and it doesn't have to be this but this is my white blazer this one is double breast head it has a tie detail and it also has the slit at the back i can wear this because i'm short enough to wear it like this i can wear this as a blazer dress or i can wear it without with as a, as a typical blazer and you see how i have styled it but i could wear it either way because i'm not that tall so it doesn't i don't have i do not say but you, you i don't have to worry about bum <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's a blazer dress um that's a white blazer yes you need a white blazer get one if you don't have one get one there uh especially now since it's blazer season you you get lots of options so you would be able to see uh cheaper ones but i would say invest in a couple of good blazers a black blazer a beige blazer a plaid blazer and a solid colored blazer you need four there's four blazers in your wardrobe the essentials and you could tell them a lot of different way but you need this four and if you build this four collection you would be able to kind of incorporate more as you go into um as you build your wardrobe and if you follow my channel you'll be able to see how i incorporate different i incorporate blazers into everything i always wear blazer and you'll get a styling ideas on night style blazers blazers you don't always have to wear them as a suit you don't always have to wear them like head to toe or look serious with blazers Blazers are fun. You can look chic with blazers. Anyway, so that's that with it. And that's that with this video. I hope I've given you styling ideas on how to style your blazers. I hope you've gotten um, information on your basic blazers you should have in your video. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, 
seriously um i really love you to subscribe please click the red button down and the notification bell subscribe share this video like comment tell me uh tell me about your blazers what do you have what do you have in your wardrobe what which what do you have problems telling blazers ask me questions leave no uh, which of these blazers are your favorite which do you think you can throw into your wardrobe I will love you guys. I, I love your engagement. I love seeing your comments. So please leave your comments in um in the comment section below and I answer.